academia because I think a lot of people just don't either realize or they don't recognize the role that your brain and that your emotions and your stress and all these things can have with your pain level. They, they did a study. So they had a group of patients who had a recent breakup and um, they, they recruited them into a study. And one part of the study was to show them the picture of their ex and they asked them to think about all the ways this person hurt them. And they did brain MRIs. The second part of the study was uh, they generated, they, they produced pain by heat, by touching their arm with heat probe and they scanned their brain MRIs. And it was so fascinating to find out there was a huge overlap between what areas of the brain lit up with thinking about the X and while they were in pain. It's so that we know that emotion processing is very connected to pain processing, like physical pain processing. Mm -hmm. And that's why addressing emotions works for decreasing pain long-term. Yeah, that's interesting.